Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and if you're new, my name is Jess. This channel is all about weekly vlogs, capsule wardrobes, living that luxury lifestyle on a budget and today is one of those slightly travelly, slightly budget related videos because I'm going to be sharing with you my packing into an underseat bag for a long weekend in Dublin. Now, we're going to Dublin this weekend, which at the time of filming, I think it's around about the 28th of March. So we're just 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 into spring and it's not going to be the warmest i think it's going to be about 15 degrees so very similar temperatures here in the uk and my partner and i managed to find flights and parking at the airport for under 100 pounds between us so like that's flights and everything included i think it was like 32 pounds flights each and then parking was 26 pounds so so we've saved a fortune on that kind of stuff and we just didn't want to pay the extra bit of money for a cabin bag when we're going for two nights and three full days whatever i wear to the airport will be outfit number one obviously then We've got another outfit and then day three which will kind of be going back to the airport so similar vibe so i thought i would show you everything that i'm packing how i fit it in the bag i'm using etc i did do one of these last year for a girl's trip to cyprus with my friends so if you want to check that out i'll leave it in the cards and the description box down below that one i would say i fit a lot more in just because obviously packing for a summer holiday everything is much smaller like bikinis mini dresses sandals etc like it's all a lot smaller whereas this is obviously slightly bulkier items because we're packing for a little bit longer and i'm gonna attempt to take two pairs of shoes so we'll see how this goes but this is a bag that i've ordered so i got this one from amazon and i went for a rucksack now i do already have an under seat bag that cost me about 20 pounds which is one of the like duffel bag one shoulder like throw it over your shoulder vibes but my logic with getting another one was we probably need to carry this around the city for the entire third day so we get there super early in the morning we're hoping to drop our stuff straight off at the hotel if not we're going to be carrying around for half the day and then on the way back our flight isn't until about 10 p.m so we're probably going to have to carry it around the city then as well so i wanted something that could go on my back that would be really comfortable and just easy to wear and not annoying because there's nothing worse than the other one i've got which kind of digs into your shoulder a bit it's only one shoulder that the weight's on so it can make your back hurt. So I found this one and had a good dig on Amazon. So I'll leave it linked down below if you're interested. But this one is great because not only does it have padded straps, but it's also got the little like clasp at the front so you can clip it to yourself. I also quite liked that it had like a bit of padding and stuff just to sort of more comfortable. There's a pocket on the back so I can put my passport in there and it's a bit more tucked away. And then it's got two different compartments. So you, there's also a USB charger which I'm not really that bothered about but you can put a power pack inside and then connect your USB lead and use your phone which I thought was kind of a good idea anyway because it keeps it tucked away so I'm going to do that but there's two different compartments in this one so you've got this front compartment which is just like a couple of pockets and stuff at the front and you've got a laptop sleeve and then the back one is like a big hole to put all of your stuff now my main reason for getting this one was the comfort of the straps and also the front pocket because I just thought if I'm going through the airport and stuff or if we're out and about in Dublin I don't want to just be like exposing my entire wardrobe every time we go anywhere or like having to you know open it up and faff around in the back I thought it was just much more handy to have this front bit I'm not planning to take my laptop if I go on a trip in the future I thought that bit would be quite handy I guess I could also use this as a gym bag for the same reason like if I'm working from a cafe shop or something but yeah that was kind of my thought process because I liked the inside pockets I liked the fact I can kind of just do I'll, I'll show you when we go through the whole video but I can just chuck bits in here chuck bits in the back it's got the clips to secure it as well so you've got four clips like two on each side so that if you zip it up it's a bit more secure i will be padlocking mine as well i think just for that extra bit of security but i just thought it was a really great bag i can chuck my water bottle inside as well fabulous so we're gonna pack into this i'll be honest when it arrived i was a bit <laughs> i don't think shocked is the word but i looked at it and was like how am i packing three full days of clothing into this but i think i'll be okay because i have a rhyme and a reason to the way that i'm gonna do this so we're going to ignore the front pocket for now and we're just going to focus on this large back compartment so like i said it's quite a big deep bag so we're going to get started on packing now first and foremost i'm going to show you what i'm wearing to the airport so i have an airport outfit planned out which is basically wearing my biggest heaviest items including one coat i'm only taking one coat with me because i think it's silly to take too many so there will be one singular coat worn with all these outfits which is just going to be like my classic gray tailored coat i think it goes with everything so i think that's just a safe bet but this is my airport outfit now before anyone comes at me for the fact this is jeans the flight to dublin from london is literally an hour so i don't feel like it warrants needing to be like super comfortable because i'm not on it for an extended period of time so i'm going to go for my classic blue jeans because they just go with absolutely everything my belt because i just think it smartens everything up and i've got one jumper which is just like a little high neck 
cream number that again goes with a lot of things in my wardrobe and for shoes on the plane I'm going to go for my Doc Martin Jaden boots which are some of the most comfortable boots that I own and I just think they're a great staple to take with me I have never had issues with wearing them around for long periods of time I've worn them to festivals and stuff I find them really comfortable and I've worn them in well 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 by now like they have been worn so many times so they're going to be coming with me as my airplane shoes that will then also be worn kind of round about Dublin however I am also packing a pair of trainers which we're going to pop in first because I thought let's have that extra bit of comfort and pop a pair of trainers in too so these are the trainers so I've just gone for my New Balance 550s in the like red and cream because I just really like them and we're going to pop those in now thank god I have size 5 feet because when you put shoes in it really doesn't allow for much more space the only thing I will say is it's quite deep in this bit so I think I can probably like stack things up or maybe try and do my shoes actually like this instead because that will fit okay we're going to do that we're going to pop the shoes like one on top of the other okay so shoes going in there that one's going to go on top but we're going to leave it for now because it's just going to annoy me then for outfits for day two i was thinking of wearing pretty much the same and just chucking in a jumper i have a jumper that's on order it's coming tomorrow so i'm going to pop in a different one just to place hold because i'm not actually leaving for like four days after i film this but i wanted to get it done so we're going to pop this one in as a placeholder and then i'm thinking i'm going to rewear the jeans at least once and then i also want to pop in these other bits of clothing so i've got some leggings and a gym top just as basically this is really good for a thermal layer Gym leggings are just really comfortable and I can just sling them on if I want to just be comfortable exploring the city. So that's going to be a good outfit for me and obviously with a jumper as well, so really comfortable. Also matches with the trainers, so perfect. And then I've got a white tee, again good for a base layer, but also my thought process was if I get really hot I can take the jumper off. That to be honest will probably be worn on the flight, so we'll pop it down there. And then I'm popping in one satin skirt because I don't know if we're going to want to go out for like nice meals. But I just thought the satin skirt could go really nicely with the jumper that I'm wearing on the plane. If I do decide to go out for a dinner, I can chuck the docks on as well. However, if we don't, then it's not exactly taking up much space. So it doesn't really matter that I'm chucking it in as an extra, if you know what I mean. So we're going to roll these because rolling is just the best way to do things. I can't think how best to roll a satin skirt, to be honest with you. I'm hoping there's an iron or a steamer where we're staying. But... If not, then we'll just have to put it in the shower and like do the shower trick. But I just think leggings are a good one. And I love that leggings are like a trend as well at the moment. Like it just makes it so easy for packing bits and pieces. So just fold all of this up. And then the jumper I'm going to wait to pop in in a little bit. Okay, pyjamas. I've got hair cloth. We'll talk about that in a minute. Pyjamas, we're going to go ahead and pop in as well. So I've just gone for some little shorty ones from Primark. This is just like a little simple white set may change my mind on this and go for a satin set just because it might fold smaller and i also want to try and get some cute pictures in the hotel so we'll see if i end up changing this one but i quite like taking short pajamas to hotels just because they're really small and they fold up nicely and then obviously like I, I get really hot in hotel rooms so i think it'd be fine so they're in there underwear and socks now we're only going for two like two nights so i only really need like two pairs of pants one bra and like two pairs of socks but i'm also going to pack some cozy socks so those are going to go into the shoes just stuff those in there and then the cozy socks can just squash too that's obviously going to go like that as i said so we don't need to worry about that other shoe for now then for my beauty bits we'll pop this jumper in on top of here the one that i've ordered that's like basically the same is the same size pretty much so i think it will fit really nicely so that can go in there and then i've got this nice little gap here which i can just pop in my skincare and makeup now for skincare and beauty bits i've got my normal makeup bag just because this folds down really tiny and then I've got this one, which is from Primark. This was five pounds and it came with some of the reusable travel bottles and like little travel bits. So I bought this for five pounds and I thought this is quite handy because I can pop this through as my liquids pouch. So inside here, let me just show you, move that across a little bit. Okay, let me, let me talk you through both. So in here, I've just got my makeup brushes that I use all the time. So just three makeup brushes, which I've ordered a travel makeup brush holder for, which I'll leave linked down below. I've got my beauty blender, which is in a little travel case as well. That came from Primark. I've got my concealer, uh, my brightness, sorry, my concealer, my blush, my contour stick, my brow product, my highlight, which is currently falling apart. 
<laughs> and then I've got my eyelash curler in there as well. So that's the only things that are in there. But I thought it just made sense to keep them inside that. But to be honest, I might just put them in like a food bag or something. Because it doesn't really need to be in a whole big bag. Anyway, we'll see. So that's just going to squash in the top there. And then inside here, we've got a few different products. So let me talk you through them. So we've got this, which is my shower gel. Just because I didn't know whether we'd need it. I'm probably not going to take this. I'm going to find out if a hotel gives us. But that's got shower gel. I've got my hair oil. I've got my nighttime serum. I've got a lip balm. I've got my eyeliner, my brow pen my mascara, my foundation. <laughs> what else have we got in here? There's quite a few bits, but they're all very, very small. I've got my eye cream, so it's nice and small. And I've got this mini whey body cream. I don't necessarily think this is gonna be enough for two days. I hope it is. But I just thought I've got this mini, so I might as well take this. And then I can use the pot in future as well for future like moisturizers for trips. And then in these two, I've just got my cleansing balm and my everyday moisturizer. So I don't think I need much more than that. Like that's more than enough for twice a day. I'm not gonna be precious about taking all of my skincare products because I just don't think they're gonna fit. And then the last couple of bits are my castor oil for my lashes and brows, my brightening primer, which kind of acts as a moisturizer as well. And then my SPF, which is the Garnier Vitamin C Daily UV. So all of that fits really nicely in here, which is cabin approved. So you can take these on the plane. Let's try and squeeze all of this back in as best as I can. I like packed it perfectly and then obviously I have to unpack it. So we'll try and pop it all back in. I think it fits really well to be honest. So that's gonna go here just in the top. And then the other bits that need to go in is a hair claw, which I'm gonna actually just attach to the side because I don't think they're gonna be annoyed about me having a hair claw stuck on the outside. In here, I've got my sunglasses, so just my classic Ray-Bans that are round. And then I've just got my reading glasses as well. So they're actually gonna be packed really easy to get hold of because I want them for the plane. Shoe can go in there, like so. And then this I'm gonna hang off the side as well, but if it needs to go in, it's so nice and small that it'll fit. So let's just close that one up. Okay, so that all closes nicely in there and there's still quite a lot of room, which is good. But I didn't wanna overload it because I want it to still be quite lightweight for carrying around the airport. And then in this front fit, I had a good idea of taking one of these. So I'm gonna try and take the dumpling bag from Uniqlo with me, because I think it's just a really great size. I've realized now I actually do need to shove my tripod in as well, so let me maybe quickly do that. I've got my tripod, which is like a selfie stick one, so it's really nice and small, and it basically just breaks like this. This is my travel tripod, so I took this one to Australia and stuff with me, and it just fits really small and compact. Perfect for traveling, so that fits nicely in there. And then this is just like a attachment for my phone, which can probably fit in the top there okay that's all in right so then as i was saying the top i'm going to go for this dumpling bag because i figured it would be good for wearing just round and about every day because it fits so much in but also really handy for the airport because we're flying ryanair and they're quite notorious for not allowing you to have a handbag and an under seat bag so i thought if i carry this around the airport with the bits in and then i can just quickly chuck it into this front bit and it will just be fine so inside that i'm gonna have i've realized my lipsticks need to go in my travel bag but we can do that later like i said i'm not leaving today okay so inside that slash the front of here we're just gonna have some little bits and pieces so not too much we've got hairbrush which to be honest could probably fit into the back bit but we're just gonna go ahead and pop it all into this front pouch just for now i've got my card wallet again really nice and small that's just got my essentials in it i don't necessarily need to take that probably won't but it's in there anyway we've got my passport which can fit into Will it fit into that pouch? No, we can pop it into that pouch. My car keys, we have to take with me because we're driving and parking at the airport. And then I've got my AirPods hung off of there as well. So that's just nice and small. And obviously my headphones for the trip. I don't want to take my big over the ear ones because I think they're just a bit too big. My Kindle, absolute essential. That's going to go into the laptop pocket. That has to come with me. That's like my absolute pride and joy. She has to come. <laughs> And then I've just got two spare batteries for my camera, my little earplugs, which again can go into one of these little zip pockets so they're nice and secure. And then we've just got my chargers for my phone and my Apple Watch, which can go into there as well. And then we can just fold this bag nice and small and squash it in there too. I haven't packed this in the best way, like it will go much flatter. I just kind of have shoved it in for the sake of this video to show you what I'm doing. So like that, as you can see, we've got a bit of room up the top here as well. And then like I said, you can just clip these side bits so that it's extra secure. And this bag is the perfect dimensions for the Ryanair like pocket thing. So it will fit really nicely. 
And what I'm going to do is, if I clip this up, I'll show you. I got these little hangy things on Amazon, where it's like a little bungee thing. And you basically clip hats to it. So I wanted to show you, I'm not going to use it for this specific trip. But you can basically clip like any hats to it, like straw hats, fedoras and stuff. And it means they can hang off your hand luggage. But I don't necessarily need to bring this because obviously I'm only taking one cap. And I can just do this and just loop it onto there and then my caps just hung on the outside like so and then I'm going to go ahead and just pop a where's the it's there I'm going to put a water bottle in there as well just so I've got it but it's such a good size and it's not actually that heavy like this really doesn't weigh very much at all so it'll be perfect for taking on my little trip to Dublin I am kind of shocked that I've actually just fit all of that in there with no issues I really thought that it would be a bit more tricky to fit it all in the only thing i may potentially change is i might change my trainers for my converse because they fit a little bit smaller and obviously we're changing the jumper for a different one as well but that is everything that i'm taking with me to dublin if you want to see what i end up wearing and where we end up going and all that kind of stuff there will be a dublin vlog coming soon i'm also going to try and document quite a lot on tiktok as well if you want to check that out but i'll leave everything that i've showed linked below alongside this gorgeous little bag and i hope you enjoyed this video guys and seeing what i crammed into somehow this tiny little rucksack and i'm going to take it with me to dublin really don't know how i fit all of that but we have so <laughs>